After watching this video, you should be able to understand the factors that affect the amount of total thermal energy that is transferred and use an equation to calculate it. Let's first think about what will happen in terms of thermal energy transfers when we leave a hot cup of coffee in a room. Well, as the coffee is hotter than the surroundings, there will be a heat flow or thermal energy transfer from the coffee to the surroundings. So the coffee will cool down, eventually becoming the same temperature as that of the room. But how much thermal energy has the coffee transferred to the room? How much thermal energy has it lost? Well, the amount of thermal energy transferred or lost in this case depends on many factors. Depends on how hot the coffee was to start off with. Depends on how much coffee there was, what the mass was. Depends on the ability of coffee, which is mostly water, to store thermal energy in the first place. The equation is given here. Q equals MC, temperature final minus temperature initial. So let's look at this again. Q is the thermal energy measured in joules. M is the mass of the original substance. C is the specific heat capacity, which is measured in joules per kilogram Celsius or Kelvin. And T for F is T final minus T I T initial. That represents, in brackets, the temperature change of the liquid or the body. So let's look at an example calculation. Let's try to find the amount of thermal energy transferred when the mass of the coffee was 0.1 kilograms. The specific heat capacity of coffee is the same as that of water, which is 4,200 joules per kilogram Kelvin. You will be given this. And the temperature has changed um, from an initial temperature of 90 degrees Celsius, let's say, to a final temperature of the room temperature, which happened to be at 30 degrees. So the calculation will go like this. And the answer is it would have uh, been 25,200 joules. But since we come up with a negative sign, that means that thermal energy was lost by the coffee. If the final temperature was higher than the initial temperature, that means the coffee was heated up, that will give us a positive value, meaning that thermal energy was gained by the coffee. Remember that values for the specific heat capacity of objects vary widely. You will not have to remember these. You will be given them, or perhaps asked to calculate them from, uh, after being given all the other variables.